Well, how do you do, everybody? Let the football season begin as the Nutria Tribunes take on the York Dukes to begin the 2017-2018 uh, season. And we're all set to begin the season. And Sam Rutherford will kick it off for the Trevians to start things off. And the kick away about 70 yards in the air. And touch back. And York takes over at their own 20. Side handoff and gained about three. Number seven, Javon Robinson, the ball carrier. Well, it's very highly regarded this year. The pitch back and not much there. The whole interior line got to him. And the inside handoff got the first down, stepped out of bounds at the 39. Number 16, Grant. Brilliant. Back to pass, the rollout. And Max Kaufman. Tackle in the backfield. Loss of a few on the play. And delay game against York. Got that 25 second clock now. Duke's got caught with it. The pitch back again. They're going to try and go to the right side. And wow. Wilson McRitchie with the tackle. And illegal procedure. Ninth year at New Chair doing the television for them. Back to pass and throwing long and right into coverage, double coverage, and intercepted by the Trevian. Brian Conahan with the interception. Handoff to Peter Murray. And Murray couldn't find the hole, lost two. Second down, 12. Back to pass. Pass over here to the near side is complete. Got the first down, Anthony Nicholas. It's the reception of the Pianoche pass. Reed Bianucci hands it off, found an opening. Off to the races, down the sideline. And Sitzer in for the touchdown. Brian Sitzer with the TD. Rutherford on for the extra point. And the PAT is good. And Nutrier leads this seventh inning. Early on in the first quarter. Rutherford sets it up, and the kick away. 
And again, the touchback. And his foot inside the end zone. Head down, bad way to run in any form. Tried to pull his way through, only gained about two. Hand off. A little bit of space. Gained another two. Six yards to go for the first down for York. Back to pass. And hit hard. And the pass falls short. And picked off again by the Trevians. Matt Mosier with the interception. Back to pass. Throws incomplete. Reed Pianucci looking for Max Kaufman. A roll out, the pass. Complete to Brian Kaiser. And inside the 20. Down to about the 18 yard line. And Brian Kaiser, quarterback, will keep it himself. And gain a first down inside the 10. Back in is Bianucci, hands it off. In for the touchdown is Brian Sitzer again. And the Trevians lead 13-0. Heading for the point after touchdown. On the second touchdown of the game by Brian Sitzer. Snap kick is up. And it is good. And Nutria leads 14 Novick. With 4.50 to play here in the first quarter. Rutherford to kick it away. And this time taking it about the two. And tripped up at about the 11. By Cameron Rosen. A pitch to the far side. And ridden out of bounds by Chamberlain Coffey. The pitch in the handoff, or the handoff, and the gain of about four. Roll toll for timeout taken. Metro Chicago Sports Network. And football games you can catch on demand on YouTube. Rolling out the pass, throws, and bobbled and complete. Nice catch. And that's the first down. And off. And a couple of yards. Inside handoff. Straight ahead. Two yards. Up to the 44 yard line. And off again, and this time met at the line. 
Actually, on the backfield, but managed to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe gained a yard. To the far side. And out of bounds inside Trevian territory. Well, shy of the territory, he went out of bounds first at the 49 of York. The pitch back. Now he gets it to Trevian territory, close to the first down. I think he got it. Yeah. First and ten. Again, the handoff. Finds some space and hands another first down and pick up about 13. But it's coming back on a hold against the Dukes. Now yeah, that'll make it uh, 22 for the first down. First and 21. And timeout by Dutrier. Trevians will be on the road next week against Warren. Back to pass. Up over the top and, and maybe got back to the original line. They're saying apparently, oh well, yeah, they did. They, they spotted back at the original line. So third down and 12, back to pass. Quarterback takes off and he won't even get back to the line this time. Lost another yard, so that'll make it 23 for the first down. And we're done with the first quarter. We'll be back with more here on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. The home of North Shore High School Sports, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Plan to arrive. Don't drink and drive. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Trevians lead 14-0 over the York Dukes as we start the second quarter. Back to pass. In trouble again. And down he goes. Fourth down. And somewhere around the Will County line for first down. The kick away. And Trevor's going to let it roll dead. And the flag goes down. For unsportsmanlike conduct after the play. So they'll mark it off. Still first down for the Trevians, but they'll be a little deeper into their own territory here after the walk-off. Now the handoff and a little dipsy doodling around. And who was that? Uh, I think maybe uh, Peter Murray. The handoff, and Peter Murray, the Murray, ball carrier, got the first down, up by the 29. Ray Pianucci, the handoff, cut to the near side and not much there. And, uh, Brian Sitzer, the ball carrier. Gained about two. 
Pass complete on the near side to Duke Ogus. And good for the first down. Hand up. And straight up the middle. Oh, this uh, actually bigger than Brian Kaiser. Brian Kaiser is 6'7 and 2'10. Two goals is only 6'5. Is only and a break a tackle, a nice run by Cameron Rosen. August is 6'5", but 240. Near side. And the pass complete to Carson Ossenhurt. And the pitch this time to Peter Murray. down to the 27 yard line. 7.18 left to go here in the second quarter. The pitch over to the far side and they shifted the line and it sort of telegraphed where that ball was going. Third down 10. Pass incomplete. Well, now it's third down, I guess. Everybody's been split out. A four out. Handoff inside. And moves down to the 20 yard line. And that'll bring up a fourth down. Rutherford with the kick. And it is good for the field goal, 30-yarder. And the Trevians lead 17 to nothing. And the kickoff. And out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Hand off. And find a little bit of room. Picked up about six. Second down and four. Hand off. And picked up another three. One yard short of the first down. Back to pass. And instead gets swarmed by the Trevian line in the backfield. Wilson McRitchie among those with that gang tackle now. Diving ahead gets the first down just barely. Hand off to the outside. Turn the corner and picked up about four. Second down and six. And make it five, maybe. And met the backfield. He did get back to the original line of scrimmage. The rollout. Quarterback will think of himself and got upended. Right at midfield. There was a flag on the play. It was 
declined against York. And the trains will get the football. Low snap. The kicker with that running move, and the Trevians are going to let it roll dead. He had about the 12-yard line. So the Trevians take over, first and 10 at the 12. Gain of about five. Make it six. And Travis gets the first Six down. Up by about the 26 yard line. And 27. Hand off. Good yardage. And we are done with the first half. And the Trebians leading this one 17 to nothing. And we'll be back with more here on the network right after we pause for this message. More action ahead on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Buckle up, Illinois. It's the law. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Trevians lead 17-0 over York as we start the second half. And uh, York will kick it off to the Trevians. Trevians get the ball to start the proceedings again. Taking it at about the eight. Nice hole. And up to about the 33 yard line. Hand off. And Pete Murray keeps the legs going, but he didn't go anywhere. Gained about three. Pass complete. Knox and Hurst. Back to pass Pianucci over here to the near side. Pass completes the Rosen. And he's out of bounds at the 46 yard line. Back to pass. Goes to the far side and incomplete. Into double coverage over there. Two receivers probably close to each other. They pitch back. And Sitzer finds an opening. And gains pretty good yardage. Sitzer. Brian Sitzer with the run. Back to pass. Rolling out, and Vianucci is going to go down. For the sack. Pass is incomplete. Throw it to the far side, going long and incomplete. And that'll bring up a fourth down. Travis going to kick it away. And the kick is short. And going to roll dead at about the 29-yard line or so. And that's where York takes over. Trevians play at Warren next week. And actually, that's an illegal forward pass. He saw the thundering herd charging at him and threw it away, lost it out. And that 
moves York way back inside the 15 yard line. That run, not a lot of room there. Quarterback takes off. Still going to be well short of the first down as we bring up fourth down and uh, probably about 20 something for the, for the first down. And the Dukes will kick it away. And a legal procedure. I'll move it five yards further back. That sets the ball at about the 15. Trevians are highly regarded. Of course, it's so early in the season, it's hard to tell what you got. Heavy hit right at the 15, and then on the end. And close to unsportsmanlike conduct by one of the Dukes there as the receiver. Not only tackled out of bounds, but then he stood there and yelled something. Dipsy Doodle move, and Peter Murray. Off to the races, goes for the sideline corner, and makes it for the touchdown. And third touchdown of the ball game for the Trevians. The kick is up, and it is good. And the Trevians now lead 24-0. Six forty-three to go in the third quarter. The kick away, and deliberately short, I think, up to about the thirty-three yard line. Side in up to about the 36 yard line. I always have the sneaking suspicion that New Trier playing York is a little bit of a revenge on the part of the Trevian for what happened in the football semifinals. Back uh, 20, 30 years ago. No, 20 years ago. And there was a holding in there. New York goes back. New Trier had scored a 6 nothing ball game in awful weather conditions. And the second to last play of the game, New York tied it. And there was ice and snow on the field. Well, for the new trier point after, they just let them kick in the ice and the snow. New York, for their point after, they suddenly brought out the tractor and cleared the space for the kicker to have a, a good placement of the football. And New York ended up winning 7-6. And I don't think anybody's forgotten that one including the IHSA because they changed the rule that if you clear for one team you have to clear for the other but Nutra's never forgotten that slight as it were passing complaint I, I'm not saying that it's a long-standing feud or something like that but on the other hand, it's always kind of back in the mind. 
of those who participated and, and Coach Dahl was one of those who was there on the field. He was the player in that game. And down at the 49, Trevian's football at the York 49. The handoff. Second effort. Down to 43. Back to the 45. You know, that's 20 years ago now, and all the coaching staffs have all changed, and all the administrations have all changed, so you know, it's not the same as having it happen last year. A beautiful pass and a nice reception inside the five. Anthony Nicholas, I believe, was the receiver. Give it to Peter Murray, and Murray stumbles a little bit. And gets to the two. And off, and Murray bolts his way in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Peter Murray. Bill Bryan Sitzer has two touchdowns, and Peter Murray has scored two. And the point after is good. And Nutrier leads it 31 to nothing over the York Dukes. With 201 left to play in the third quarter. Kick away and take it at the five. And finds a big opening. Dipsy doodling around though when he lost the blocking. And now in trouble and down he goes. At the 27. So he really didn't gain as much as he could have had he kept bowling forward. And the pass. Deflected. He complete. All the talk about individual players and team rankings this time of year is really quite ridiculous. It's all name recognition and so forth. And we have two holdings. Against York, they'll decline this one out at the 50. And take the one in the backfield. Go back the Dukes up. Back to the line of scrimmage, back to the nine. And whistle and timeout taken. Was either that or get a delay a game on the part of the Dukes. Pitch back. Looking for an opening and didn't find very much. Up to the 19 yard line. And we are done with the third quarter. Trevian's leading at 31 0. We'll be back with more. Covering football, basketball, ice hockey, and baseball. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. 
don't be a party to teenage drinking. Parents who host lose the most. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Trevian with the big time lead here as we go to the fourth quarter. 31 nothing over the York Dukes. And again, fourth down and the kick away. And fumble a little bit. Trevian's fall on it. Get it. the ball. And they set it right at midfield. Hand off. And Peter Murray gains about two. And, and make it three, it looked like. Second down, seven. Pass is complete. To Max Kaufman. And Brian Kaiser. The quarterback. Gets the first down. Pick up. We have about five. Off. Little dipsy doodle moves. Time for the spin. And Peter Murray, the ball carrier. Back to pass. Throws. And incomplete. Back to pass, throwing long and to the side. Brian Kaiser with the reception down at the one yard line. Reed Benucci, Benucci, the pitch back and did not get in, but the flags down it, or did get in, but the flag down on the play. A legal procedure, I think, against the Treviots. Yeah, fumble. Treviots get it back, though. Back to pass. And incomplete. Hit the ground first. Third down. And the pass incomplete, knocked away. That'll bring up a fourth down, and Trevians will drive for the field goal. The kick is up, and it is no good. Wide right. So the Trevians maintain their 31 0 lead over York with eight. 07 the play here in the fourth quarter. Hand off and nowhere to go. The march, the ball here. And again the handoff and just a couple of yards. Back 
Back to pass and intercepted. Yes. Intercepted by the Trevians. I want to say Ar Arvis Dovelis did that. And grabbed and held on, but there was another holding on the part of the Trevians here. And the ball is going to move back about 11 yards from the original line. Back to the 45. Hand off and straight ahead. Pitch over here to the near side. And got back to the 40. Jonathan Taylor. He's running the runner for the last couple of plays. And he was going to run again, but flags all over the place. Taylor cuts to the outside. And up to about the 40. You know, they're going to spot it back at the 47. But he stepped out of bounds. Here's that. And inside the 40 to the 38 yard line of York. But not enough for the first down and kick away. And Travis will let it roll with the favorable bounce down to about the six yard line. Off or the pitch and on second effort, bowling his way ahead, keeping the feet moving, gained about two. Winding this one down, you can catch Nutrier football on Nutrier television. Pass incomplete, hit through the traffic. You can catch this game on YouTube on demand. And on our Comcast affiliates. Pass is complete, little curl back to the inside. That'll bring up fourth down and about five. Four or five. Deep in their own territory, they'll kick it away. And they'll let it roll down and rolls out of bounds at the 48 yard line. And it's New Trier football at the 48. Oxenhurst, the ball carrier. And now a quarterback. Hand off and straight ahead. Gets to the 43. Snap, Oxford. Delayed a little bit, and then and 
gained only about a yard. Hand up. Trevians get the first down. At the 33 yard line, and that's the last play of the game. Trevians win it 31 0. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast. So the new Tre Trevians win 31 0 over the York Dukes. Our next game is against Warren. And then they'll be back home here at New Trier for Barrington on the 8th of September. But that'll do it for us for this ball game. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Stick around for more sports action all season long. We've just started our 2017-18 season. And for all of us here at the network, we say as always, thanks for watching and so long, everybody.